Welcome back. So now that we have a running test set up right here, everything seems to be running now and we are happy. Let's try and figure out how we can actually create just a simple test. I'm going to go into the product list component right here, this spec file, and I want to test just a simple thing like that there's actually an H2 element in here that just writes list all products inside the inner HTML. That's all I want to test for this lesson. Very simple, just to get started and then we can dive into some more crazy stuff. How to do that? Well, first of all, we need to create a new test, right? So what I want to do is I want to create a new test right here. First, I need to specify what do I expect from the test, right? What do I expect? I expect it should contain an H2 tag. That's kind of my expectation right here. And the next thing is I'll do a comma, parentheses, and federal notation, pretty much meaning that this is now my method that we're going to work the actual test inside, right? So what are we going to do next? Well, I need to kind of figure out how to get the tag. So I need to somehow get the tag from here so I can start testing on it and figure out if it actually contains the information that I need. So how can we get a tag? Well, if we go into Angular by class right here, we can actually use that guy to get the tag. So we can query elements like this. Let me try and zoom because I can see that is rather small. There we go. So we can start querying elements like this. We can call, I want to find an element by, and then I can put in some attribute that I want to use. For instance, an h2 attribute. Let's try and do this. How do we get the debug element? Well, we can say fixture dot debug element dot query. And this is where we put in the by clause. So the by, there are several definitions. It's very important you pick the right one here. You need to pick the one called Angular Platform Browser. Not Protractor, not Selenium, Angular Platform. There we go. That has a function called CSS. And here we can put in just the name of the actual tag we're looking for. In this case, H2. And it'll only return the first one it finds on the page. So now we actually pretty much have a reference right here. Not for the element itself, but for the debug element for this element. So let's just call it uh, h2 element. There we go. Now with this element, I can actually try and do my test now. Let's just get rid of this noise here. That means that I can now try and do an expect right here. Not exports, but expect. And I can say I expect that the h2 element native element, that means the actual h2 object. And now here's something that you kind of need to know. You need to know how this element looks. And let me just try and show you something because, well, you can either go and Google it all or you can actually, using a debugger, get a lot more information about the actual uh, debug element you have available right here. So I'll add a debugger right here. I'll just wrap this up so we don't fail anywhere. There we go. And adding the debugger right there, you'll see that when I run my code right now, we'll hit this breakpoint right here and we can start using it. So let's jump into Karma again. I'll open the developer tools and I'll just let that breakpoint be hit. There we go. I go into sources, and if I just zoom a little bit, zoom, 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 and I do a refresh, and you'll see that we get into this breakpoint I just put in there. There we go, we hit the breakpoint, and now I can actually mouse over this element, and I can have a look at what's actually inside here. And you can notice that I put in native element as the next step right here, I said dot native element, right? So what does a native element contain? If I expand this guy, you'll notice as I scroll down, it has some inner HTML. That's where it actually says list all products. But all the way in the bottom near the text area, you can also say text content, and that'll also get this information. But you can do all of this. You can use any of these attributes if you want to. You can even use some of the events if you want to. It's up to you. But it's a pretty cool way if you guys just want to kind of figure out what's inside an element. You can just use the debugger. Simple stuff. Let's just get rid of that again and actually use this now because we now know it's called text content, right? So again, again, if I mouse over, I go to the native element, and you'll notice down here it says text content, and that's the one I want to kind of go to. So text content. There we go. Now I expect this text content to be, and then I need to put in right here what's inside that text content right now. So right now it's list all products. That's what's inside that HTML tag. I'll put that in here inside my expected clause. Let's just move this again. There we go. I put that in here. There we go. Now this test should actually uh, pass, right? Let's just try and go back and just run this. Just get rid of the debugger. I don't want to stop there anymore. I'll let it run, and there we go. Now we have eight passing tests, and one of them is right here, should contain H2 tag. Perfect. Now we can just try and test something. Let's say that for some reason, by mistake, 
one of your developers went in here and by mistake, you know that happens sometimes, put in some kind of crazy letter in here. They thought they were writing somewhere else when they wrote dear, like this. We save this. And again, I know this might sound like something that never happens, but this could be a case. By mistake, you put in some information here you didn't want to put in there. Now you'll fail. Amazing. You'll get told right away. You cannot even push this anywhere. You'll be failing right away. Oh man, it says list all products dear. Oh my God. In here, let's get rid of that. There we go. See if the test runs again. It's, it's a very, very simple test. And even though it might seem trivial and without usage, it could happen. You know that. You've tried it yourself. By mistake, you put in information in areas where you shouldn't because you might have thought you put in the deer down here in the console, but by mistake, you actually added it up here. I don't know, but now the test is there to help you. And next lesson, we'll dive into some more complex testing. See you next time. Have fun.